everybody, it's Jeremy, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. This is our Path of the Damned Herald run, and uh, we uh, it's episode 50, 51? 51, 51, and we just got uh, Lord Darren's um, bulge, 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 up to max soul rank. Very cool. Um, so we want to try off Ball Lightning. Or we're just going to open up this fight with a Ball Lightning. I can't see you, you sneaky bastard. Damn it, I'm lost. Just like me. Uh, don't know that that did, Captain. Let's go. Terribly much. On Archionado. Okay, so we've got skeletal warriors. Those are going to be pains in the butt to deal with. We're gonna immediately come um, over here. Just do. That's bad. Why would I do that if I can hit multiples? Do that. Um, and Ishiza and Maya are going to focus on. Well, he's not, um, hobble him. Might as well be hitting the water. That, that's a great fucking combo. Uh, that's working. This is working. Yes, great. Want to do that? This does not work. Me too. Yeah. That's embarrassing. You see that, Ishi? Why do we hobble him twice? Nothing I can do. Maru! Divers! How could I miss that bat? Crave. Feel lost. Damn, that fucking beam, my man. Leaf. I was trying to get him out, but I I waited too long. Crave. I need to try something else. Need to, like, body attune this Can't get a clean hit. <clears throat> Just like that. Yeah! Alright. Can't get a clean hit. Oh, 
Well, it didn't much damage, are we? Oh, that's I'm an idiot. Uh, she's not gonna do any. Or, okay, he's fine. She's not gonna do damage. This needs to flip over to this, and she's not using skills. Why is she not? Ah, uh, that's gonna be significantly different. Very, very different. That's my bad. You were saying? Really, no. Oh, these guys have really strong piercing. Man, piercing is a problem. I tell you what. Still got it. Just like that. Like Maya is hands down. Like she's the biggest mix mixed bag in the world. No use. Yeah. I cannot get through. Oh, good. Huh. Might as well be hitting the water. Diveros, how could I miss that badly? Stand together. Huh. Still got it. Oh. Just like that. like this is working very well either. I like how the rest of my team can kind of just sit there though. How could I miss that pen on there's 11 pen because it's exceptional but it's against 15 you're saying here she needs an option that's not piercing i don't really know what that option is though I guess it, it really is, um... Oh, it can't be changed in combat room. You were saying? Okay, well, she can't do anything for the rest of the combat, then. So what's his issue? Why is he not able to, to kick this guy's ass? This does not work. He's got... I guess he's just really strong. Basically, he's just got really high defense. Speak your mind. Wish we had more buffs. We got some debuffs we can use. Uh, I'm no help here. I am ready at once. Oh, good. 
<laughs> Should have been doing this from the very beginning, just permanently having flanked on this guy. This will not do. Yes. Just like that. Is he trying to bounce to her? That did not hit <laughs> on that. At once. It makes no difference. Oh, good. Damn it. Got away. Does he just keep using? Yeah, probably. Yes, Captain. Just like Nothing I can do. Diveros, how could I miss that badly? See your Try aiming next time. Oh, good. Oh, that that hit all of my people. Really? I thought our stuff wasn't supposed no to use. hit. See her must me too. Just like that. See her All right. must me too. This doesn't Come usually on. happen. I swear. You don't need to ask twice. Your bones will feed the land. Uh. I can do. Surprise. Oh my goodness. Your service. Okay, okay it so is no let's uh, make some adjustments here. Definitely want to. That's a fine morning star. God. I definitely should have uh, adjusted my sure. Honestly, when I had access to uh, a better shit. I mean, she's got a flail, whatever. The fine flail. The fine flail. I guess give him like um, a hammer and a shield. Whatever. I mean, we have uh, other items. That is true. Put on one of these. Good. Something like that. I think the rest is still fine, honestly. What's that was that? kind of a kind of a bit That's much, eh? And and real big disappointment on the um, indeed on the ball lightning there. <laughs> like real expected it so. to do anything, and it did pretty much nothing. A large force yes, and heavy bullet. Yeah, Set Captain. back to what's that? What for, Cap? You were saying? What can I do? Back. Hmm? Cool, that rock be a pound or two of gold, Cap. If you can get it into our old. <laughs> yeah? I mean, sure. For blue flame. Not doing enough like buffing and debuffing, I think.
even in this state, it is easy to see why Luminous Adra is so prized. Indeed. Here is infected, taking on a darker hue as it descends. Hold up. I, I uh, am, like, legitimately concerned that I need Shodi for this. Like, I remember having... Well, one, the last time I played, Shodi was the one person that I took with me everywhere. So, aside instead of Maya. I'm somewhat concerned. What is this place? Ingwithin Ruin. Contains the Ingwithin Way Station. That's what this place is called. Gotcha! Ingwithin Way Station. I'm literally just gonna, I don't care about all the stuff. I just, I'm gonna search Shodi just to see if Shodi's supposed to be here or if there's any interactions with Shodi here. And it doesn't look like there. So that's good. All right, so less concern then. Uh-oh. Is that blood? What have you done? I found him like this. Why is your blade drawn? You're crazy. Stay back. Happily. Things did not go well. Upon this mural, an Ingwithin raises a sacrificial knife over a pliant Huana figure. Okakahara Expedition Log. This leather-bound logbook has property of the Valian Trading Company stamped inside its cover. Most of the pages are dark brown and stiff, stained with some dark aromatic beverage. A few pages have been ripped out from the end. We set out at dawn on orders from Governor Alvari. She's heard rumors of Luminous Adra at a place called Pokokahara. Unfortunately, the place is said to be surrounded by storms, and it doesn't appear on any of our charts, but we've to we're told the locals at Tikawara may be able to help. 20 Preoton. Er, bro, I don't know. Something. I'd heard stories of the bad run-ins with Huana tribes, but Chieftain Ru Ruanu and the tribe of Tikawara welcomed us warmly, fed us as well as could be expected, and marked Pokokohara on our maps. He seems to believe the storms are magical, or else the will of the gods. I hold out hope that they can be stopped. Second of Mahuatan. Left for Pokokohara this morning. Vector wasn't happy about being left behind, but he was too sick to travel, and Beza was using, losing patience. Haven't seen a Rawatayan's ship since we left Negataka, but she's still afraid they'll beat us here. Fifth of Mauhuatan. Storms are some of the worst I've seen, but we made it. Set up camps by the cliffs. We're all looking forward to getting into the ruins. At least it'll be dry in there. Seventh of Mauhuatan. We lost Gian and Lalara today. I don't know what, but something about this place seems off. The others feel it too. Question, Moatan. The murals here are incredible, proof that the Ingwithans met ancient Huana 2,000 years ago, that they might have even built this place. I keep trying to explain this to Beza, but she won't listen. Question, Moatan. We found the top of the Argevain. It is glowing, but Beza says we have to go deeper.
Indeed. Well, if you insist, it's no trouble. Oof. If I can't see you, you sneaky bastard. Oof, oof, oof. Definitely don't want that. Why are you casting that? What Leo? Chase that motherfucker out there. Good. Good. Good chase that motherfucker out there. Just like that. Right between the eyes. And penetration versus nine penetration. A sprained wrist. What? Oh, right. I still have that sprained wrist. I was like, I have a sprained wrist. This is horse shit. But yeah, of course I do. Oh, good. Stand together. All right, easy peasy. When we're not fighting stuff that is, you know, skull threes, yes. we do very well. Of course. I'd be glad to. Still as a pond. Eyes open. Eyes open. I I like to keep them closed. Huh. Fucking well, spiders. See you, you sneaky bastard. Really? Spiders? We have new spiders? Is Oh, oh shit we're actually getting close to the, i remember oh uh, this isn't gonna be good there's some real nasty shit down here can't hide from me can't hide from me from me Gonna do it. Just like when it I need to try something else. I see your mass meet out my wheelhouse, friend. Speak your mind. I am the alpha predator. Ah, of course. Oh, Speak your mind. Well, fucking Takehu's about to be super dead. Too much water. Even aiming at there, my man. Great moment. 
Can't get a clean hit. Just like that. Damn. Okay, I need you to change your focus over to like this thing. That's no. Do that then. For the homeland. Tell me. And on that I think we might actually be able to give him an additional spot of protection All right, we want to reapply that. Not too soon. You see that, Ishii? There we go. Come on, we got this. No. Uh, hit the fucking target that's about to die, please. Well, I guess they're both about to die. Nice. Alright, we got this. Easy peasy. Would you like maybe not cast that if you're not gonna hit the fucking target? Fucking idiot. Yes, Captain. It makes no difference. Are you sure it makes no difference? Yes, like that. Jeez. Still got it. Cody boy, what is up? Happily. What am I on? 
eyes be open. Old copper key. Interesting. Your orders. Huh. Ow. Your orders. Let's go. Oh, did I level? Holy shit, I leveled. Mechanics, diplomacy. Is it time for and evil turned away so we can actually burn people now? Immune to resolve afflictions. 20 seconds. 24 burn. 35 burn. Um, yeah, that seems like that's probably going to be a pretty good you boy. You, you boy. Ya boy. Ya boy. Ya boy. Ya Ya boy. Ya boy. Ya boy. Ya boy. Ya boy. Ya boy. You fuck. I wonder if seven nights is any good. I actually haven't used it. I don't know. Um, uncanny luck is something we want to pick up on most people. Tough. Probably going to pick that up on a couple people. <sighs> Probably not rapid casting on him. Uh... Yeah, I feel like seven men is actually pretty strong. We want to pick this up on Takehu, but not on Ajax. And then... Uh, this is interesting. So I think we just take evil turned away. And then we've got some righteous soul, immunity to disease, and a poison attacks. Um, practice healer, 15% more healing done. That actually would not be bad for- wait. Of any healing you cause? Yeah, we absolutely want that. Because if that is- well, here's the thing. It's 15- 15 15% more of one isn't gonna matter. And I doubt it's gonna tick up. So... Only fucking you have been just super paw heavy tonight. You are just clawing the shit out of my arm. It's not good. Stop it, you greedy boy. I have claw marks up and down my arm. Um, okay.
Okay, yeah, I have zero idea if this is gonna work, but I am interested in it functionally. So we're gonna turn it on. We're gonna do it and see. I just don't think it's gonna matter, right? Because 15% isn't gonna be enough for anything. Uh, if it's not, we respect out of it. Um, so what we're looking for is we're going to look for the occasional, like, ticks of um, maybe, like, two or three or two or four. That seems highly sus. We could just be taking Enduring Beacon right now. Or would we be more interested in Inspired Beacon? Or we could just take abjuration. I want this to be good, but I don't think it's gonna be good. We're gonna we're gonna take it and then we're gonna see. Cause I mean we do have the heal from I just I just don't think it's gonna be worthwhile. Speak freely. You were saying Marok's Amath. Interesting, interesting. A new soulbound item. Binds with paladin, priest, or rogue. This item, uh, this bronze blade, the length of your forearm and significantly sharper, doesn't seem at all tarnished or dulled by its age. A vein of Adra runs its length from the pommel through the grip and almost to the tip. It pulses faintly. You located this dagger in the depths of Pokokahara, where the mural suggested it was a sacrificial tool of ancient Ingwith. It whispers its name to you, the dead soul. Cast Corona of Soul. 10% chance to cast burn damage AoE on hit. Dealing burn damage to nearby enemies. Oof. Um, hmm. Interesting. Paladin, priest, rogue? So, what I find interesting with this is, so, I don't think we're super down to have it on either of our paladins, but priest and rogue means that we could put it on a dare or on Shodi, depending on what it is. And if it has burn damage stuff, um, that could be a cool option to go with Shodi because of the whole burn motif with the, um, the soul, the modal, whatever. I don't remember what it is. Um, so let's check this. Marux and Man. Okay, not Fextra Life, damn it. How about, how about not Fextra Life? How about not the web, the site that has 50,000 videos playing the entire time? Okay, so a pretty simple way to kind of kick things up. Um...
that's a really interesting we've got some really interesting things here um okay so burn damage grant the first level grants sacrifice um and sacrifice gives you you can You can either use it to kill a friendly character, um, or you can use it as a full attack, and it will destroy a near-death target. Um, so, uh, executes under 25% HP, basically. Um, then, if you go Priest, you can get Echoes of Faith by dealing 250 damage to Spirits. Which, I don't really know what this means, but it says 10% chance to repeat attacks after 0.5 seconds with priest spells. I don't know what that means, is the problem. I Like, that, that doesn't mean anything to me. 10% chance to repeat attacks after 0.5 seconds with priest spells? Does that mean, so priest attack spells have a 10% chance of double casting? Because that would be fucking amazing. Um, but probably not that great for Shodi's build. Whereas the Rogue one, you have to do 250 damage to Kith. Um, and then you get Quick to the Slaughter, which is plus 2 penetration for 20 seconds at the start of combat. Which is, it doesn't sound great, but that's actually not bad in, if you, if you keep in mind the concept where we, what we're doing with Adair right now, the buff um, go invisible tele or teleport invisible to someone and try to pop them. That's definitely going to happen in the first 20 seconds. So having an additional two penetration on a full attack at the beginning is actually probably going to help us do that faster. So, um, and then afterwards, if we if we get that uh, the Final tier is kill 10 enemies with Marek's MF. And then we would get Worthy Sacrifice and Superb. Worthy Sacrifice is... Wow. Um, so it basically turns Sacrifice into a better version of itself. So basically, if you are successful in killing a target... You restore plus two to all class resources. So that's pretty badass, actually. Um, that sounds like a really good Adair weapon, truth be told. Uh, I don't know, though. I also don't know about this whole Corona of the Soul thing. That's interesting, but it seems super unrelated to basically everything else that is happening with this with this weapon like it, this weapon does seem a little all over the place i'm listening you were saying indeed okay are we going to fight are we going to try to fight these assholes up here Oof, this is gonna be careful. Uh, let's not that actually. Um... Is that guy Mark? It's really low armor, in fairness. No you I got Let's get through. 
you stop just spamming the fucking shit? That's a plus six on the heel. Four point five plus nice because it's okay. <laughs> yeah, that helps. It doesn't help by like a whole hell of a lot, but it helps. That's really interesting. Okay. Stop doing that. You're worrying about doing a thing that you don't need to be worrying about. You need to heal. Just like yep. Oh god, no, not the reduced healing. Well, time to double up. Uh, uh. Just kill that guy. Man, these two animats took a shit ton of damage from Seraphin for trying to, like, just, just bypass him. That's interesting. Fuck's my bird. Herb. I mean, he's already and shoot his ass then. Drink, Maya. I have been poisoned. Oh, 
It is no use. I cannot get through. <laughs> Still got it. agree with me all right is this a an effect that we can get the fuck out of let's go uh, funny you only miss blood when it's gone see that beauty of a hit My goodness. This this thing, the Minpuigua or whatever, I have no idea how to actually pronounce that, oh, is good. super That's fucking tough. Too. How many of you are there? Oh my goodness. Naturally. I've got this, Captain. Yeah, just like that. See you, must me too, man. I have been. Might as well be hitting him. Healing. Nice. Come on. <coughs> Great. Let's help burn that guy down. It is no use. I cannot get through. What? What is happening is here? You? Death to those Stand together. Of the republics. Nah. I don't oh, understand what just happened water. there. Well, do this. I need to try something else. Probably not gonna. Nope, didn't make it. Whew, that must have hurt. Unfortunate. <clears throat> oh, yes, we'll hitting the water. Yeah. You were saying? <clears throat> Captain. Uh, uh, you uh, rare tick from feeding the fishes. Tough fight. Tough fight. Funny how you only miss blood when it's gone. What can I do? I'd be glad. Goodness you need gracious. Something. Speak your mind. Man. Did not really feel like we uh we got the <laughs> we got a good trade out of that honestly it is level time for maya though i i don't really know what we want i guess evasive fire
I mean, that's cool. Curious call is cool. Uh, tough, uncanny luck, driving flight. Ranged attacks bounce one time with ranged weapon. Does that work with guns? If that works with guns, that's absolutely what we're taking immediately. Pillars of Eternity 2. Driving Flight. Does it work with guns? I would assume that it does. And it, didn't sta and it stacks with the inherent jumps of some weapons as well. So like kitchen stove, fire in the hole, water shapers focus. It just adds an additional jump. That's pretty cool. Uh, so obviously, while we're definitely interested in evasive fire, I think driving flight is hands down going to be the best thing that we can pick up. Um, hmm. Deep wounds. is really strong. It's basically an extra 20% damage. But do I pick up Deep Wounds now, or do I pick up Pierce the Bell now? So, ranged weapons gain 3 penetration. So right now we're at uh, twenty-five percent damage and five penetration. If we take Pierce the Bell, we go up to forty-five damage and five penetration. Which is really good. Shit, I don't know. I say I don't know, but realistically, that that mathematically, that's a very simple uh, answer. We take, we take deep wounds because deep wounds affects every single hit, whereas pierce the bell is only a 20% bonus damage on a single strike. Now that single strike is going to be significantly higher damage in a single hit than several deep wounds, but... I think that's a question. The deep wounds stack. Deep Wounds, does it stack? Hmm. I have one individual saying yes and then the uh, another individual saying nothing It seems like it does stack. Actually, a lot of people are saying that the that it's bad.
I think the concept is is that 20% is just too low a damage for but I like I just can't like ah uh, it's because it's 20% of damage over time so it's not 20% of your damage ticking each time that's the that's the situation but in my mind, I'm sitting here thinking if I'm bouncing high damage bullets that are doing, you know, 40 to 60 damage a pop. I don't know, that seems pretty okay to me. We'll try it. We'll we'll pick it up, try it out. Uh, I mean, realistically, what we're going to do anyways is we're going to pick up uh, Deep Wounds and the other one. What was it? Drive, so driving flight is going to be awesome, period. Uh, but we're going to pick that up, and we're going to pick up uh, Deep Wounds, and then level 14, we'll probably pick up Evasive Fire. Level 15, we'll probably pick up Pierce the Bell, and then level 16, we're to a new set anyways. So, like, we're, we, we're not picking up Tough or Uncanny Luck, and that's probably not a good idea. I probably want to pick up Uncanny Luck. But, um, I don't know. We'll kind of see. Improved critical is definitely something that we want. Maybe uh, we pick up uncanny luck here, because I don't know that I care about survival of the fittest. Because it's, it's too... I mean, it's probably good, but it's too situational. I mean, it's no more situational than, like, Stalker's Link, but it's a different, like, set, right? Oh, I probably don't need to worry about it. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're definitely picking up a driving flight. Um, I think we pick up Deep Wounds, and we go from there. Cool. All right, I'm really excited to try that out. Uh, we are going to rest, but we're going to do that uh, on our next... Uh, on our next video, because that is the end of this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.